Hey you guys, and namaste. I love painting portraits of my friends for practice, and as a reward for sitting for me, I make them something delicious. Today I'm painting my friend Therese. She's vegan, so I'm gonna make her my famous curry doll that everyone loves. Dal is a spicy dish made with lentils, and it's a staple all over India. It's vegan, it's packed with flavor, and it's super good for you. The best curries begin with whole spices. Some of them are left whole and others get ground. If you don't have a lot of these spices and you don't really want to, you can substitute two tablespoons of curry powder in this recipe. I'll let you know when it goes in. In a medium-sized pot, heat two tablespoons of oil. Then add in a two-inch piece of cinnamon, a bay leaf, six green cardamoms, one dried red chili, a quarter teaspoon of asafoetida, that's also known as hing, a teaspoon of black mustard seeds, and two tablespoons of dried curry leaves. Swirl this all around in the pot for about one minute so they get nice and fragrant and the mustard seeds stop sputtering. Then add in two tablespoons of chopped fresh ginger, two cloves of chopped garlic, two chopped green chilies, and two small diced onions. Saute all of this for about three or four minutes until the onions just start to turn brown. The spices that go in ground in this recipe are the cumin, coriander, fenugreek seeds, and turmeric. They go in now, and if you're substituting two tablespoons of curry powder for all the spices, that too would go in now. Stir this around for a further two to three minutes, and then add in one and a half cups of pureed tomatoes. Raise the heat and stir this constantly until it comes to a boil. Once it starts boiling, lower the heat again and just let it simmer for five minutes. Now add seven cups of water. I'm using these four types of lentils, and you can use any one or combination of them. Other lentils might need to be soaked overnight and cooked ahead of time first. Just give them a good wash before you put them into your curry. Stir them in really well, and then cover your pot and let your curry come to a boil. As soon as your curry comes back to a boil, the six green cardamom pods that you added in earlier are all going to float to the top. Now is when you'll want to remove all six of them. They've already served their purpose, and you don't want anyone to bite down on one of them later on. Cover the pot again and let your doll simmer away for one and a half to two hours. That'll be long enough to cook all the lentils. At this point, the longer you let it cook without the cover, the thicker your doll will be. It's all a matter of personal taste. If you're going to be scooping your doll with flatbreads, leave the cover off and let it cook a little longer so it gets thicker. Then add in one cup of chopped cilantro, two teaspoons of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Stir this in really well and your doll is all ready to serve. Oh, the rice is so fluffy. This looks so good. I'm definitely going to try this recipe. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's delicious. It's so good. Thank you.